So welcome back and I'm back. Here what we're gonna be doing is smashing out a load of work on the Mark II. Everything is all off the floor. And we've got parts literally everywhere. Boxes of all stuff to go on. And more bits still in the post. So yeah, good stuff. About time to spend a bit of money on the Mark II again, because it has been a bit neglected while we were doing the Mark I up. So what I need to do today is put this little thing in. The RS4 fuel rail pressure valve, return valve. The fuel rail return valve. The fuel pressure rail return valve. One of them, I was for one of those. And apparently it's an absolute pig of a job to do. Especially if you're keeping the inlet manifold on. So let's have a look to see where it actually is. So I don't have a cover of mine because I have the induction kit. There's your high pressure fuel pump. There's the rails coming down there. Uh, might be able to see it better from the top. There it is, right there. That's what we need to get to. Let me just get a screwdriver. There. That thing right there. That's the. That's what we've got to replace. But yeah, that's what we've got to take out. So I think we need some tools. Gonna need, not that, some crow's feet. Got a set of those, got a couple of sets of those. Some other little ones, I think I need for that. So I think if we can get some movement on these hard, these hard lines here, we could probably near enough get a socket onto it. But we need to get some movement on these. But first things first, let's get, some pressure at the system so you will get a bit of fuel coming out of there okay i mean i'm gonna be doing the high pressure fuel pump upgrade as well so i don't know if it's worth just taking that out of the way but let's do it with that on first of all because a lot of you may not be removing that when you come to do this so let's whip this off this off so I'm just undoing those two torques that are holding the hard line down to inlet manifold. So whipping those off will give the, the pipes a bit more play. And then it's just getting the 14 mil crow's foot onto the collar on the pipe. And boom, that's undone as well. Pretty easy. And as you can see, that is all loose now. And I also undone the bolt there. So I'll get lots more play on the lines, which is what we wanted. And I undone the one off the high pressure fuel pump as well. So I undid the other hard line with a 17 mil. It was really easy. It literally flew off. No problems at all. Just went through that gap there with a the spanner. And it made life so much easier and gave me so much play on the pipes. I could literally move them out of the way so I could slide the 17 mil socket on over the old valve. If I just lift that out of the way like that, I should near enough be able to get a slider socket on there we go it's out. Well, what's going on there? It's not that bad. Honestly, if you just take that one off, that other connection off right there, that one right there off, it absolutely flies out. So I have just used a bit of hose pipe and a cable tie just to make it a little bit tighter. So 
So I'm now just doing that hand tight with a 17mm socket on it. It's getting stiff now. So let's nip that up. There we go. That line back on now. All right, so that other bit's all back on. Right, that's everything all back together. Marked everything that I've undone, so hopefully it will line up. That's all back on, that's all back on. That's all back on, everything looks kosher. Let's just give it a little prime, get some fuel pumping up with these. As you know, they prime when you open the door. Let's just open the, uh, the door so we don't get gassed out. Let's make sure we've got no leaks. Go. Right, let's see if we've got any leaks. I would say that that was a great success. Happy days, that's one thing done. But I've still got to take the high pressure fuel pump off again anyway to change the internals to a viz. So stay tuned for future videos when we get that done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.